Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SK beat. We're kicking. Just kicking. Just kicking. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Now, who's up for the topic today? That we got Meghan Markle, okay? <laughs> Lord, when it was a time back in the day, I think it was like the 60, 50s or 60s, when a black man and a black woman could pass as being white. Child, I said, Megan said, I'm finna get this dude. I'm gonna smell the roses. I'm gonna believe in myself. And I'm gonna get this Britain dude. Okay, he gonna love himself some me. And surely, but surely, that's what she did. <laughs> she left Hollywood to go claim her man, her claim to fame, honey. And he was a little bad boy. I mean, William was the uh, one that was always dutiful and, and trying to do the right thing and being peaceful. And old Harry out there, he just tan up shit. <laughs> he was like, I ain't finna do, I ain't finna do nothing, honey. My mama ain't here no more. And I ain't finna be bothered because my dad ain't nothing but a lush and a cheater and all like that. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Y'all know Harry was very, 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 what do you call it, controversial when he was growing up. <laughs> he was wearing, what do you call it, the Nazi symbols and just everything, and people just getting on the pole, boy. He was like, I'm just, hey, I'm just doing something. I don't really care. And then again, maybe he was doing it so they would throw him out of Britain, okay? Just throw him to the wolves or whatever. They said, we don't know what's wrong with this child. This child is crazy. But anyway, we're going to be talking about Meghan Markle. Mm -hmm. And not so much Harry, because he already knew he going to get what he want in any way, okay? He got heritage. He got some money. He got lineage. He going to get something, okay? He ain't going to walk away with nothing. He going to get him something, okay? Because he is Charles's son, all right? But anyway, we got this article from Cosmo Cosmopolitan. And a Jennifer Savin wrote it up for us. Yes, put it out today. And she titled her article, Meghan Markle, on the struggle of not being able to afford a $14 million mansion. Now, you know she ought to be cooked up. Uh, what is it called? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is it hooked up to the crack of your... She ought to be... I don't know. Okay, I can't get it together. I, it was in my mind. It was playing real well. But when I tried to bring it out... Uh, between my lips, it didn't look good. She ought to, she need to be whooped up the crack of her ass. That's where it go. She need to be whooped up the crack of her ass. She talking about a fourteen million dollar mansion, ain't got but two kids and her husband and her mother. Whenever her mother wanted to come and visit them, man, what are the room dimensions looking like? What are the moon? looking like the rooms okay the other rooms in the house okay we gotta find out we're gonna keep reading the article i'm sure they're gonna tell us but that shit looks sharp as hell don't it that house is amazing and she is taking the time to smell all the tulips all the roses she ain't wasting no time she got her man she got her prestige she got her 14 million dollar mansion which she said she didn't think she could ever afford <laughs> Because she said they were broke. They were destitute when she had to leave um, over there in Europe. Okay. She said they were broke and destitute. I'm like, Meg, if you don't sit your behind down somewhere. And I'm just being respectful to you because you just went and saw it. You saw it. You believed that you could get it and you got it, girl. Okay. But she could damn near pass for white, can't she? She sure can. She's one of them women of the black race that can pass for white. Okay. Look at her. And I, did Mark, uh, Megan ever act in Hollywood, y'all? I think she played some type of sitcom show. I don't know if it was a drama or was it action-packed. I can't remember, but I think she was in Hollywood a little bit. And being an actress over there. 
somebody get in the comments and tell them, I sure don't have time to research. <laughs> I don't have time to research, y'all. But yes, honey, Megan Marker said she didn't think she would be able to afford a fourteen million. I said, if you don't sit your ass down somewhere, you couldn't just get a mansion that was one million, or a little house for five hundred thousand. You had to jump overboard, okay? Because that's where you do. You look like in, in my eye, you jump way overboard to say, hey, if I'm gonna be the Duchess or something, if I'm gonna get that type of notoriety. I need to live like a queen, okay? So she did that darn thing. Let's go on into the article and see what they say. Okay, in a new interview with The Cut, by way of promoting her podcast, Archetypes, Meghan Markle has shared more about the adjustments she and her husband, Prince Harry, went through after leaving their roles as senior working royals. In particular, the Duchess of Sussex, had spoken out about the challenges they faced when looking for a new home together outside of the UK, saying that when they initially fell in love with the Montecito mansion they lived in now, or they live in now, they weren't sure they could afford it. What the hell are you over there looking for? A mansion that's $14 million, girl. Girl! And then you talk about you were window shopping and shit. Yeah, window shopping is like, I don't like to go window shopping. If I go out, I'm planning on bringing something back if it ain't nothing but a candy bar, okay? <laughs> I ain't going out there nowhere without bringing me something back. Okay, it's going to be food, some type of clothing, some type of apparel, or something. If I got paid, I'm going to treat myself to something if it ain't nothing but a damn candy bar or a piece of carrot cake, okay? You see where I'm going. You know I like to eat, so I ain't even talking about other little things. Y'all know I like paparazzi jewelry here and there, but <laughs> you ain't going to catch me outside. No, I ain't going to lose looking at no house, and I ain't trying to buy something, okay? Or I ain't going into no car lot, and you don't think I'm going to buy something. No, Megan, we knew your taste was way out there. And just because your husband... Is Britain and he has his little title and you know he's gonna have money because it's you know he's a trust baby it just comes with the territory so you couldn't go to him one million you had to jump your ass all the way up there like you live in like the elites <laughs> okay girl and that is a pretty spread is it not guys y'all know it is somebody took an aerial um what do you call them things they just fly through the air so what you call them? Oh, drones. That's what they call them. Took an aerial shot of her house. Ain't that something? I'm like, girl, where your security at? You ain't got no security around now. You need some security. Because how you flossing up there, look like you got something in that house that people might want to take, okay? But anyway, that was just my sidebar. Going back to the article. Um, She says, um, <laughs> okay, described by journalist Allison P. Davis, who went to Megan and Harry's home. To conduct the interview and a, oh, as invoking a classic Tuscan villa, a Napa vineyard, and a Beverly Hills country club. The property certainly sounds very special, very auspicious Cajun we got going on here. This woman went over there to Beverly Hills. She talking about she got a Napa vineyard, a vineyard? That means she going to be getting drunk any time she feel like it she can go stomp some grapes and a little barrel y'all know y'all remember saying that on i love lucy and lucy and this other lady were going around stomping grapes and make the wine can you see that i can see megan right now got a basket full of grapes and got her own little stomping stuff and she is gonna press her uh her uh, wine out for herself. She's gonna make her own damn flavor okay because when you, i mean you doing something you got a vineyard that's like in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Just acres of acres of shit. Who girl. Anyway, moving on from there. Um, it says, we were looking at this area in Montecito, California, and this house kept popping up online in searches. Megan explains when asked about their relocation from London. I like, ain't nothing going to pop up on your internet search, Megan, unless you put it there. Because even if you say something on your phone, your phone gets the information. And somehow it starts um, giving you streams of stuff that you may have discussed with someone else. Or let's say if we're talking about cars. And I'll be saying, okay, I want to go and get me a Mercedes. And then I want to go buy me a house uh cross town you know i'm giving you the area too 
uh haven't y'all seen stuff come on y'all phone miraculously after you ain't even looking at your phone no more but then you start you know scrolling 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 and some of the items like you know you want to go buy a car and the type of model car just comes up yes that's the government we can blame the government for all of that mess that uh they be tapping in and wanting to hear us and what we talking about yes that's why they got these smartphones okay but anyway I guess my sidebar. I had, to, I had to give it to you. God knows half of y'all know what I'm talking about. All right. But anyway, Megan, no, baby. You had to been already searching for beautiful houses in Beverly Hills, honey. And it, and you had a certain range you was looking at. And that's why they populated on your search bar. Okay. Don't try to play us on no fool, Megan. Don't try to play. We ain't. We wasn't born uh, last night. Okay. <laughs> we were born. But we wasn't born last night. All right, so let's go back. It says she didn't ask that. At first, they were reluctant to view the place as they didn't have jobs. And its price tag was a cool $14.65 million. We didn't have jobs. She, 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 she says that's twice. So where did you get the money, girl? Where did you get the money? Somebody trust got open, didn't it? All right, because if you don't say that twice, you ain't had no money. So what the hell are you up there looking for? Any type of house, okay? You should have been in your apartment uh, trying to stay like everyday people. And then finally get up enough. You go look for your property. You see what I'm saying, Megan? But you know, you're not making sense, Megan. You're not making sense. But anyway, we go on. Um, we didn't have jobs, so we were just not going to come and see this house. It wasn't possible. It's like when I was younger and you're window shopping. It's like I don't want to go and look at all the things that I can't afford. That doesn't feel good. But yet you went, Megan. So somehow, somewhere, you knew somebody had some money that they were going to put on you so that you can live this fancy, luxury, luxurious type of lifestyle, boo. Okay? But anyway, Megan also added that she and Prince Harry did everything they could to get the home. And it sparks feeling of joy and calm as soon as you enter. It's healing. You feel free. The pair had both signed various multi-figure deals with leading brands such as Netflix and Spotify since stepping down from their roles, their royal roles, which will have no doubt helped along the way. Not like saying, see, see, Megan, you lied. You lied to me. You, 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 okay, in this little sentence, that's where your money at, baby. That's why you sitting up there uh, hunched over a house that you just say, just keep coming through your feet. You know the shit. Make it stop lying to us, okay? Stop lying now. I don't know if that's the white side or you're the black side because you're mixed. Stop fooling us, Megan, okay? Now, don't you think Netflix and Spotify and probably other ventures y'all are going to be entering into was your pre, uh, met, what do you call it? Uh, they probably gave you pre-money or upfront money to invest in or, or live off of or whatever and then you know they get their money back once the things or the uh things you're supposed to be doing for these entities um uh show themselves okay so i'm like megan you had a you had a lie girl you had a lie oh megan i don't know what we're gonna do with you girl but anyway those are two good paying jobs okay and they're very very relevant out here that a lot of people use those services megan oh okay anyway the duchess said that the garden was a huge draw too and spoke about two intertwined palm trees in the garden of the property remaking or remarking that they were the first thing prince harry noticed about the nine bedroom guys sit up shut up Shut the front door. Let me sit down on the floor, girl. What are you talking about? It's just you, Harry, and your two children. That's so got mama coming here and there. She might stay with y'all. I don't know. Okay. So what are you going to do with the other four bedrooms, honey? What are you going to do? Are you going to make one of them an office or something? Tell me because a sister want to know. I don't know nothing about this type of living. If I was living that life, I'd probably be fainting every day. Like, oh, thank you, Lord. Ooh, ooh, who going to clean this house? Because I cannot. Okay? Half the bathrooms ain't going to be used. Because we don't have no people up in here. Megan. But anyway, going back to the article. Um, the house has 
nine bedrooms, 16 bathrooms. 16, Megan. What the hell you did with 16? It's bad enough you got four bathrooms, okay? And I'm talking about four bathrooms. You got 16? Girl. Are you going to have the royal family come and visit y'all or something? Because from what I understand, they don't like you, Megan. <laughs> Ain't nothing changed with that baby. You may have got the prince <laughs> or the second heir, but they don't like you, Megan. So I don't know why. Why you put yourself in this such a strain, girl? But I guess if you work working for both of those um, lucrative businesses, I guess you can do whatever you want to, girl. But you need to have some security up there and damn sure have some good uh, cameras out there. Mm-mm-mm. Megan is flossing up in him. But okay. Where I was. Help me out, fam. Okay, wait a minute. Seven down. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. Proper. Okay. Okay, 16 bathroom estate that comes complete with a pool and a tennis court. And I have definitely give y'all the views of it. They didn't have any pictures like right up front where you could see it. You had to have that drone aerial view from the top of the sky. Okay, let's go on back into the article. It says, see how they connected at the bottom. Megan said, he goes, my love, it's us. And now every day Archie goes by us. He says, hi, mommy. Hi, poppy. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. In other royal, in other royal homes, news much has been made about Prince Williams and Kate Middleton, Duchess of Cambridge, and their decision to move from their Kingsington Palace apartment to Adelaide Cottage on the Queen's Windsor Estates. Some aren't happy about the switch up, uh, given the current cost of the living crisis, uh, saying it seems indulgent and insensitive for the Cambridge family to adopt another residence. They've been keeping, uh, wait a minute. Okay, it's insensitive for the Cambridge family to adopt another residence. They'll be keeping their Kingsington spot as well as their country home in Norfolk, too. Okay, so I guess Prince William and Katie have to step out and show up and show out with something somewhere near what Meghan and Harry are living in. Because I think they both had some kind of, you know, issues together. They ain't like each other either because, you know, Kate was trying to act like she's Diana Ross. Well, I didn't say Diana Ross, but Di what her name was? Uh, Prince Diana. Okay, get me straight. Get me straight, family. She was trying to recreate uh, Prince Diana. Man, I'm like, girl, it only was one. And you know, it's you can't re re what do you call it. You can't replace her. There's no replica for her. Okay, get a picture, love it, got it good. But you would never be Diana. Okay, can't need to see therapy. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it says to clarify the Cambridge use of the property is a gift from the Queen, and she has given permission for the Duke and Duchess to lease it from the Crown Estate using their own private funds. The Crown Estate is not managed by the Queen, but its income does have some impact on how much money she is given each year. Meghan and Harry are due to visit uh, the UK this weekend as part of a series of charitable engagements, including One Young World Summit in Manchester, which starts on uh september 5th and y'all help me with this family now if they call their sales has reduced their sales to not having any royal duties what the hell are they going over there playing favorites and footsies okay <laughs> what are they doing okay girl i'm like you're doing too much megan you're doing too much okay and every time you go somewhere you go over there it's always an issue always a negative issue that you have to combat Put on, you know, the press and let us read about it. But Megan, they don't like you. <laughs> Girl, you need to just build your empire over here in the States. Uh, do some teleconferences. If the queen want to see you, then y'all make that trip on over there. But if y'all have relinquished your royal duties, what the hell are you going over there doing charitable um, things when you can do charitable things here in the States? They got a lot of charity out there in uh, California that you can be a part of and designate where you want certain funds to go uh, because those are your um, baby uh, charities that you just really, really love. And you want to make sure they, they continue to be flowing and helping the community at large. That's what you need to do, Meg, instead of taking your little behind over there when you know they don't like you, okay? 
They go, you know they don't like it. They probably don't. I ain't gonna say nothing about the kids. I ain't gonna say nothing about the kids. But Megan, you know they don't like you, girl. So you need to stop playing these games, okay? Stop playing the game. It's gonna visit them, uh, like Easter, Fourth of July, Christmas, or uh, Thanksgiving. Do those visits, Megan. It looks more pleasing than when you go over there and start shit, and then they have your ass right back in the tabloids or social media. But y'all, that's all I got for this particular video. Um, if you, please get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about this issue. And Megan talking about she couldn't believe she could afford a fourteen million dollar mansion. I gave y'all the the parts of what it looks like to a certain degree. And baby, mama looking good over there at, at that table. Or uh, I don't know if that's her office. Hell, I don't know where she is. She looked like maybe in the middle part of the house. Who knows? But anything that got um. Uh, what is it? Nine bedrooms and 16 baths, I say it. Shit. I know they got to have more than uh, one or two or three maids. They need to have 10 on deck, okay? But I don't know if they're going to be having that type of flow uh, coming through the houses of people. And, yes, they're going to have to uh, put up for a while. You know what I'm saying? But it just is what it is. Get down in those comments. Let me know what y'all thought about Miss Megan and her predicament she done got herself into. Talk about she, she didn't think she could afford it, but she's working a core, uh, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? Um, partnering up with two entities that is definitely making money out there. Megan, stop thinking we're stupid. Stop doing that, girl. But anyway, I'll see y'all next video. Bye bye.